Hey guys, now this is a bit weird, but I think I should do an educational video for the thing, because I've just realised something. Now, in my classes in school, I've been learning about volcanoes, and how the pressure inside just like goes up and powers through rock and like explodes out and makes more mountain, that's how you get the hill. Well... I just thought, as you saw before, the juice and a straw. Now if you want to try this for yourself, you can. So, what you do is, you suck in the straw, <laughs> and then put your tongue on the edge. So, if I just try, hold on one sec. Ah. Oh. Have I? No. No. Alright, let me try and suck while doing it. Right, so you can't really see one sec. Can you see it going up? Up? down, up, down, so if I keep it up and put my tongue on the end, then, in a juice, this has to be fizzy by the way, so you put your tongue on the edge and it should be full of juice, fizzy juice, you lift it up so it's not on the bottom and let go, and a bit of fizzy water, fizzy stuff will go on it. Let's see if I can try it. You can see a little. Um, don't think I can get it above my bed. Let's see. Oh! <sighs> Flashing images by the way. In. See what I mean? Bubbles come up. It's because the pressure in that has been released and gone up. This is upside down. But in the end it goes up. Imagine the store of fizzy juice in your um, straw was that little that store of um, molt uh, magma, molten magma in the bottom of the earth, yeah? In the earth's... Ah, oh, damn it, I forgot. Cross, no. Mantle. <laughs> Word. <laughs> anyway, keyword. Um, then, as you let go, there's a pressure going down the straw. It goes down. But this, in the volcano, it goes up powers through now I'll show you a little graph on how it does it it powers through up and it goes out and then it cools down because it's up here and goes back down heats up and it separates these plates like like that but then there's this other place that's pulling them in so it'll come back in again but when it's open a little bit you won't notice because it's like tiniest thing ever sometimes lava or magma goes up because of the pressure and catches into that little crack and comes spewing out because of the pressure the amount of pressure now if i go try one minute. right can you see it goes in cools down and goes back down again and then, in these gaps, because of the pressure, it goes up and makes a volcano. Let's see if we've got anything else. There you are. That's the pressure. And it normally goes round, but instead it came up, up, up. And normally, at first, it'll explode a little bit here. But then it makes a mound of, like, ash and stuff. Then, once it does it again, it'll make another mound. Another mound, and blah, blah, blah. Now, is it Venus or... Mount... Venus? I 
have no idea. Um, um, sorry, just looking through, trying to find something that goes there. And it can make, like, as you can see, it makes small volcanoes and then big. Um, this is like my volcano stuff. Um, no, and then it's nothing there. Right, um, so kind of, yeah. So, like, it goes up. Oh, Vesuvius. Right, Mount Vesuvius got so big. If I just show you my other one here. Got so big, like, big, 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 right? That because there was so much pressure here, it blew the whole top off. And that's where all the ash covered the whole, like, city. And obviously, because they didn't know that, or, or that, you know, before. I can't remember the city, I'm so sorry. Um, Vesuvius. Oh, I don't know. No, no. It's Ves Vesuvius. If you want to see the spelling, where did I find it? It's V-E-S-U-V. I, it, I, U, S, I think it's that, it's Mount Vesuvius, and it's found in Italy, next to Mount Etna, but not exactly next to, I don't know if it has a story, <coughs> oh, sorry, I'm sneezing now, <laughs> so yeah, and it built it up, and it, now, if you see, it's got like a massive crater in it, and it's really, 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 you know, like, weird and it still can erupt but they don't know exactly i think it's like i don't know exactly they probably do so here's the um so here's the store of magma as you can see which is the thing we had in our straw if i just that yeah and then, because of the pressure, when we let go of it, it comes back down. E.g. it comes back up for this bit. And then, it goes round. And did you see those bubbles? That's technically that bit. See what I mean? Store, the pressure goes up, explodes. Store, the pressure goes down, goes round, makes bubbles. So, my mini volcano, that is very, very harmless and very very delicious <laughs> if you want to try this just get some fizzy whatever i've got fruit fizz <laughs> I've, and then get a straw a glass and just watch inside Whoa! no don't worry i didn't do it oh my god i actually did <laughs> right God, mine's... Oh, it went straight in the headphones area. Oh, great. Sorry about that, guys. So, that's your little thing. And it says, a structure of volcano. I'll just read this out so you get a little idea. Volcanoes draw their magma from deep be below the solid crust, but it's, it is often stored prior to an eruption in a um, magma chamber. Cre uh, great pressure yeah, builds up and um, molten magma is forced up the narrow vent to the crater at the surface. Here it may be ejected with great force to form a huge cloud of gas steam, ash, and volcanic, uh, what does it say, bombs, or it may just flow much more gently down the sides of the volcano to form a lava flow, sometimes hot clouds of gas and ash, and pyroclastic flows, may race down the sides of the volcano some of the magma may find its way through small events to form secondary cones on the 
small events to form the on the size of the <laughs> main volcano, or it may simply be the forced dikes, seals, and localiths. So what they were saying about the secondary cones is these that go up and like that, but they're like mini volcanoes. And the pyroclastic flow is when, right, so if I go to my little chart at the back of this, no, at the front of this bit, no, before this bit, here, so the, where is it? pyroclastic froze so it says 1000 degrees rocks ash gas clouds sweep down the sides of the volcano at 200 miles per hour no one can outrun it and the volcanic bombs rocks as big as tvs f faying from the sky falling <laughs> oh i thought it was t but i crossed out the t bit like all right falling from the sky red hot it weighs 100 pounds, can travel 5 miles down the volcano. Like, alright, the lahar is like the pyroclastic flow. is a mud flow. Rain mixed with ash creates thick mud and, f and if... Ugh, and it flows quickly down the sides of the volcano. You know what lava is? Toxic gas. Well, sulfur fumes, any smell, poisonous, nitroxide plus rain, sulfuric acid. Ash, change the climate of generations, can block the sun and cause extinction of ex species. God, I didn't know that. And I wrote it down <laughs> on the 18th. Right, thanks for watching, guys. That was a bit of an experiment about um, volcanoes i shared a bit of knowledge on it this is just the structure of volcano which i read to you those are the key words um pay, plane boundaries right you know when i said these go round and separate it these push them back in again by one plate going into the other and this is also f can form a volcano because of the pressure down here pushing up um, and this is under the sea. So this is destructive plate boundary. And this is constructive. So this destroys, this constructs, like, volcanoes and stuff like that. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and I'll see you later. Bye.